Do you have a computer question? Ask John. Presented by TechnologyForever.com Welcome to today's episode of Ask John, starring yours truly, me, John Forbush. If you have any questions, wait till the end of this video and I'll tell you where to send them in. In today's episode, I am going to be answering several questions guests have sent in. Some of these questions include how to clear Google search history in Firefox and Internet Explorer. Someone also said that their raw file is opening with the wrong thing. Windows Media Player, I'm going to show them how to open with the correct program. And I'm going to show how to make Windows XP or just any Windows fast again. And I'll show you some other tricks. Um, I'm also going to show you how to clear your temporary internet files or if you have Firefox, your clear your private data for privacy reasons. To start off, we're going to clear Google search history. I will do the Firefox method first, then I will do the Internet Explorer method. The Firefox method. Google search history can be annoying. It also doesn't give you much privacy to clear this data from Google search history in Firefox. Go to Tools, then Clear Private Data. Once there, look for Saved Form and Search History. Make sure that the box is checked and click the Clear Private Data button. Clear Data Now button. Your, your private data from the Google search should be gone. Internet Explorer method. To clear Google search in history and Internet Explorer, go to the Tools menu, Internet Explorer, select Internet Options, then on the General tab, click Delete button from the Browsing History area, then click Delete Forms button from the Form Data area. You're done clearing Google search history in Internet Explorer. Now I'm going to show you how to fix the default program for RAR files. You may have had this happen before. When your RAR files try to open with Windows Media Player, Windows Media Player does not know how to use the file. If you fix the problem, simply right click a RAR file and go to Open With. Then, then select Choose Program, then click the Browse button, select the location of Isaac or WinRAR's main fi program file, then open, and then, then click Open. Put a checkbox in the box, always use the select program to open this kind of, kind of file, then click the OK button. You should be done now, and this should work now. A plus. You know how Windows gets slow? Well, I know a way to speed it up, but it takes several steps. And this will make your Windows fast again. Step 1. Scan and remove any spyware your computer may have. I am going to explain how to do this in the next step, because spyware can definitely corrupt up your computer and cause it to slow down. Go to Scan, left side of Adware 2007. I've already done this, but I'm going to tell you how. Go to Scan. I'm not aware. Choose Full Scan. I am not going to choose Full Scan because I don't have enough time and it's for filming purposes. So I will use this one just to demonstrate. But you want to choose Full Scan. Hit, click Scan. Oh wait, I can't use a Custom Scan. One second. Smart Scan. But you need to use Full Scan. This takes some time, so don't worry about that. It just takes some time to work. The next bit is going to be in really fast. Um, I've sped it up a little bit on the camera trick, but hopefully it helps you. Now that I am 
I'm done scanning, I have no spyware. So I'm just going to click finish. But if you had spyware, you should always remove it. Oh yeah, and always set a system restore point. Just in case something bad happens with your computer, so you can fix it. And that's it for the spyware portion. The next section is about using Windows Disk Cleanup Utility to remove unnecessary files, thus speeding up your computer and making it work more effectively. This is how you use Disk Cleanup Utility. Go to My Computer. Click like the drive. You want to use the disk util cleanup utility. Go to properties. Go to tools. Go to where it's uh, actually it's general. Sorry. Then click on disk cleanup. Wait a second for it to load. Yeah. This will increase the speed. Make sure all the boxes are checked. Hit OK. It asks me, are you sure you want to perform these actions? Click yeah. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it. Just defrag your hard drive. I'm going to show you how in a second. OK. This is how you defrag your computer. Go to start. And go to my computer. Right click your main hard drive, sometimes called your primary hard drive. But you can just to your other hard drives also. Go to properties, go to tools, tab in the drive's properties. Where you see defragmentation, there's a button that says defragment now. Click that. Now, choose your main drive and hit defragment. When that's done, finish with that one. Defragment your other drive. Drive if you have one. Defrag it because there's not always two drives, two hard drives on the computer. And just defrag all your hard drives, and then you're done with the defrag part. Like I'm just gonna analyze, but watch. I haven't done this in a while, so I might have a lot. And I don't. Never mind. I'm not gonna do it. Never mind. And that's how you defrag your computer. Now I'm going to show you how to clear your internet temp files in Firefox and Internet Explorer. That's how you clear your temporary internet files and other temp inf internet files in Internet Explorer. Go to Tools and then go to Internet Options. Make sure you're on the general tab, go to browsing history, and where it says delete, click there on that button. Then there's more buttons that say delete files, delete cookies, delete history, delete forms, delete passwords. Click on all those, and then when you're done, close that, and then hit OK, and then close the internet, and you're done. First off, you need to have Firefox running, go to tools. Then go to clear private data where it says control shift delete if you want to do that too. Then on the list, make sure check all the boxes you can and then hit clear private data. Now your internet temp files for Firefox are all gone. That's it. Now if you have questions that you would like to send in, here's how you can send in your questions. Go to technologyforever.com Click contact near the bottom of the page. Make the subject Ask John. Be sure to subscribe to my videos on YouTube. The URL is youtube.com slash G O H E A D T R Y.